Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about another general function of a character in a video game. If you have a player in the video game, you might need to add the jump function. You might need your player to jump. So that's what we're gonna program today. Let me discuss first what we will do in the program. We will have this rectangle made by the draw module. Then we would use the key module to move the rectangle up, down, left and right. And we will have one more key that we would use to jump. Let that key be spacebar. So let's code all this. I'll import by game. I'll write import by game. I'll initialize it. And I'll set up the screen. I'll write screen equals by game dot display dot set mode. And the screen size is 500 comma 500. I'll give in the caption. I'll write by game dot display dot set caption. And let the caption be jump. Then I'll do my while loop. I'll write while true for events in pygame dot event dot get if events dot type equals pygame dot quit. Then I'll call the quit function by pygame and I'll quit. I will also set up my screen with some color. Write screen dot fill. This is a lighter shade of green and then I'll update this. I'll write pygame.display.update and I'm done with the basic frame structure. Now I would need to set up the basic variables that I would use in the program. So uh, one would be the size, height, width and the initial position of the rectangle. I would move around. So you can use the rect class or you can initialize the parameters just by taking variables and so i've used the rect class i'll write my rect equals pi game dot rect let the initial position be 200 comma 200 and the size the width be 10 and height be 20. you can even take a larger rectangle then i'll do i'll have the speed variable let it be 5, the amount of distance the rectangle travels at once. And I'll have this jump variable, which would be a boolean. I'll set it up to false so that I can know when the object has to jump or not. You'll get the use of it later in the code. Then you have this jump C variable, which is equal to 10. I'll put this equal to 10. This is the jump speed, the amount of distance it travel, travels at once when you jump or you will click the spacebar. So we will use this later in the code. Now inside this while loop, I will define the movement of the rectangle drawn. I'll write keys equals by game dot key dot get pressed. So Keys is a boolean sequence as we have discussed a lot of times by now. It stores the states of the keys on the keyboard as true or false. If the key is pressed, its state is true. Now accordingly, I will check in which direction the object should move. This is exactly the same thing as we did uh, in moving an object. So try to write this piece of code yourself. It would help you practice. Now I'll check for uh, the left arrow key. If the left arrow key was pressed, I'll write if keys uh, in square brackets by game dot k left so this is how we access the state of the left arrow key and my underscore rec dot x so this is the x coordinate of my rectangle the object is greater than zero then i will decrease the x coordinate of the rectangle by speed units so i'll write my rec dot x if x as the x coordinate minus equals speed okay i hope you remember if we need to go towards left side then we decrease the x coordinate now for the right arrow key i'll write if keys by game dot k right if x as the right arrow key and my rectangle dot x is less than 500 minus rec dot width dot w would access your width this is just for keeping the 
rectangle, complete rectangle within the boundaries, I will increase the x coordinate by speed units. So I'll write my rect dot x plus equals speed. Fine. Now I'll check for the up key. So I'll write f if keys by game dot k underscore up. And my rect is greater than zero. I'll access the y coordinate now since I'm talking about vertical motion. I'll write my rect dot y minus equals speed. Okay. This is the normal motion of the rectangle. Okay, I also need to talk about the down key. If keys pi game dot k down. And my rect dot y, the y coordinate is less than 500 minus my rect dot h. Since we are talking about the vertical motion, I have accessed the height, not the width here. My rect dot y plus equals speed since we are moving downwards. Okay. Fine. So this was something we had already done. But uh, now we will move on to the jump function part. So I'll write if jump equals false. I'll check if jump is equals to false. This is the initial condition right now. And then I'll check if keys and uh, basically I have pressed the space bar. I'll write if keys pi game dot k underscore space. I'll access the sp uh, state of the space bar. If I, it has been pressed, I'll make jump equals to true now. Okay, I'll reassign its value. So if you actually analyze what would happen when the rectangle jumps, it would cover a lot of distance vertically above, more than it normally covers when we press an arrow key. So I'll put this in the else condition. Let me write it first. If jump c is greater than or equal to minus 10, I'll check if the object is back at its place. My rect dot y minus equals jump c into absolute jump c into 0 0.5 jump c minus equals 1 so let me explain now uh, you should get that if the rectangle is jumping we will decrease the y coordinate just like the up arrow key but by a larger value so that value is product of jump c into absolute jump c and 0 0.5 and after each decrement of y coordinate, I will decrement the jump c by 1. Jump c keeps the count how many times the, there would be this kind of y coordinate decrement. Now you can think once the jump c value decreases and reaches 0, you need the rect to come back to its original position. But for that, you will increment the same that you decremented to the y coordinate. So here is the rule of this absolute function. Since jump c is negative, if you don't use the absolute function, you will end up decrementing more and the rectangle will not come back to its original position. So all this will basically run a loop till the jump c becomes minus 10. As you went up 10 times, you need to come back the same amount of times. Okay. Now else, I will write jump c equals 10. I'll reassign jump c and jump equals false. So I've reassigned these two variables. Just in case you click on the spacebar again, the spacebar is pressed again, the values are reassigned. Okay. Now I've filled the screen with some color and I'll draw the rectangle now. That would be moving around. So I'll write pi game dot draw dot rect screen. And I'll give him some color, let it be purple. And my rect dot x, my rect dot y, my rect dot w, and my rect dot h. Okay, so these were the parameters x, y, w, and h were the parameters of the rectangle I would draw. Okay, now this is it for this program. Let's run this and see if the rectangle jumps so here is the rectangle I made and I'll press the spacebar first okay 
so rectangle jumps very well and the forward backward and down and above keys work fine left right up and down keys work fine now you can even combine the two keys if you press the space bar and the left or right arrow key the there is a combined motion you can see like this it's a kind of a parabolic motion okay so yeah this was it for the program and i hope you understood whatever was done thank you